All right guys, it's Dr. Joel Levy with Mission Move Physical Therapy, and I wanted to show you guys um, and do a little video here on a question that I've been getting a lot recently, and that the question is, why when I'm riding, when, uh, when the resistance gets hard, let's say you're going up a hill, um, a hill that you're not necessarily, this incline's not so steep that you're standing up, but you're kind of trying to power through, um, people would ask me, they're telling me their leg starts to go back and forth a little bit. Now there are a couple of reasons that their, their knee would go back and forth like that. The first one is a lot of times you're just trying to power through um, the climb there, right? And you may not be strong enough to actually keep your knee in an alignment as you put the power down. So what's happening is your adductors, the muscles that are kind of here on the inside of your leg, which are kind of between your hamstrings and your quads, start to try to kick in to help push down, and that brings that knee in, okay? The, the um, muscles that are opposite the adductors would be actually your hips and glutes, right? Your hips and your glute muscles here also control the leg going side to side. So part of the issue is if your leg is going side to side there, you just don't have enough strength in the quads and the hamstrings to push straight down and the adductors are starting to kick in. So the answer to that would be to actually shift down a little bit, reduce the resistance, and just increase your cadence. Another thing that you can do is work on strengthening your um, glutes a little bit so that they can help keep the knee in alignment, which will also help you to actually increase your force and push down. A lot of times this actually will happen to riders early in the season when their strength or maybe their cardiovascular fitness isn't um, as, as high or a, is up to speed as it should be, right? So they just lack some power um, that they maybe normally have. And if their cardiovascular fitness is low, they don't want to shift down and increase their cadence because they're already gassed, so they're trying to just muscle through it. Um, sometimes this will also happen just, you know, and this can happen to anyone if you're just tired at the end of the ride, right? And it's just like your legs, your quads are shot and your legs are shot and you'll, you will kind of move around a little bit like that. So you can easily see this, how this happens in, in this kind of exercise, right? I'll have people do this exercise, which is a single leg sit to stand. And how I want them doing the exercise is pushing straight up through the leg like this, right? But when there is a little bit of weakness in the quad, they're maybe not strong enough to do it, or in the hips, what I'll see is this happening, right? Is that knee kind of caving towards the midline? And that shows me that that adductor is trying to kick in to help um, to help power the leg up through. So that's what's happening when that knee wobbles side to side. Um, things that you can do about it, shift down, um, or start working on increasing your, um, your glutes a little bit to help keep that knee in alignment. So if you have any other questions about this or comments, please let me know, and hopefully that helps.